He says, these words I've commanded you so that you love one another. If the world hates you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. Now, remember, he's not saying if the world hates you in general. He's saying if through all of this you are becoming like me, of course, he's saying, look, if the world hates you, understand it hates you because you look like me now. You act like me. You sound like me. You think like me. Let this mind be in you, Philippians 2.5, that was in Messiah Yeshua. You look like me. You sound like me. Of course, it's going to hate you. It hated me. He says, if you were of the world, the world would love its own. And you all know that. Sure, when you were palling around with the world, everybody liked you. Everything was great. But as soon as you decided to sound like Yeshua, all you know what broke loose. <laughs> if you are of the world, the world would love its own. But because you are not of the world, but I chose you out of the world, for that reason the world hates you. Now remember, we talked about this in other teachings. I don't want to get all Kabbalistic on you, but the idea of that which is of the above and that which is of the below. We live in the below, but we're becoming not of the below. We're thinking like the above. We're acting like the above. We're becoming like those things that are above. That's the instruction that the Father gives, how to become like him. He's not in the below, he's in the above. So we call that in the heavens or on the earth. We call it in the world or the flesh versus in the heavenly type of the mindset. Think of it from that point of view. He said, look, just because you happen to live in the below doesn't mean that you're of it. Yeshua wasn't of it, but he was here. He wasn't of this world, but he lived in it. He says, if you were of the world, the world would love its own, but because you are not of the world... So we, we were of the world when, we, when they were loving us, but now because of being baptized and covenanting and burying the old man and coming out in newness of life and all the things that we did and making those declarations when we got a mikvah, etc., we have chosen to not be of the world. We have disconnected ourselves and changed to a above citizen, an above citizenship, a citizenship with the things above. The kingdom of Elohim is from above. It's not the kingdoms of this world. It's the kingdom of Elohim is not of this world. Now, when Yeshua shows up, then both will be together under one authority. The kingdoms of above and the kingdoms of below. That's the tremendous event that we're looking forward to. The joining together of those kingdoms. So he says... But because you are not of the world, but I chose you out of the world, so in his calling you, that brought you out of the world, the world's thinking, the world's mindset, the world's belief systems, all of the worldly things, for that reason, the world hates you. Remember, now actually, give me a second. I'm just going to read you something. Seems like every week I find reasons to end up in um, Ephesians 2. But, you know, in Ephesians 2, it talks about how, remember that you were once in the world. He says Gentiles in the flesh. But essentially, you were once in the world. And you were called uncircumcision by that which circumcision. In other words, you were called uncovenanted by those who were covenanted. And that at that time, when you were in the world, you were what? Without Messiah, excluded from citizenship of Israel, strangers from the covenants of promise, and had no expectation, and were without Elohim in the world. That's what he's talking about here, and Paul was reiterating it here in Ephesians, but that's what Yeshua was talking about in John 15. You were, with all of that, you were Gentiles, you were worldly, you were not covenanted, you had no expectation, no promises for you, without Elohim, and I called you out of that. Just like being slaves in Egypt, right? This is the time of year we're looking at Passover. The, he called them and pulled them out of the world of slavery in Egypt and brought them to Sinai to covenant. But remember, at the time that you were in the world, you were without Elohim, without Messiah, without promise, without hope, without anything. Excluded. You were excluded from. Not just didn't have it because you didn't know about it. You were actually excluded from it. 